The Turkish defense industry is advancing rapidly, creating effective and reliable military equipment, meeting about 80% of their domestic weapon needs in 2021. Today we'll talk about the impressive Altai T2 Turkish main battle tank. I'm your host Isev and welcome to Defense and Geopolitics. Altai is the official name of the Turkish future main battle tank. It is named after the famous commander of the Turkish Cavalry Corps. It is Turkey's first indigenous main battle tank development program since 1943. A contract was signed in 2018 for a total of 251 Altai tanks in three main variants. Production and deliveries of the new Turkish tank are planned to begin in 2021. Although so big, there are major difficulties related to the engine and transmission. Turkish army requirement is for at least 250 new man bell tanks. This new man bell tank is of conventional design. The Altai used some technologies of the South Korean K2 Black Panther. However, it is a different design rather than a licensed produced version of the Black Panther. The new design of the Altai tank includes new armor around the turret and the roof is fitted with add-on armor produced by the Turkish Rocket Sand Company. The tank also uses composite armor. The Altai main battle tank is planned to have a 120mm smoothbore gun. Around 40 rounds of ammunition are carried for the main gun. Where to use ammunition is stored in the turret bustle fitted with the blowout panels while the remaining rounds are stored inside the hull. The tank is fitted with coaxial and roof mounted 7.62mm machine gun. The roof is also mounted by a remotely controlled weapon station, armed with a 12.7mm machine gun, which is the active protection system which is equipped with both hard kill and soft kill functionalities, along with electronic warfare computer. The Altai main battle tank is equipped with state-of-the-art Vulcan fire control system and battlefield management system, indigenously developed by Asil Sam. This company supplies fire control systems to the Turkish army main battle tanks. The Altai has a target acquisition system with hunter-killer engagement capability. Vehicle commander uses panoramic sight with thermal vision to search for targets. Once the target is selected, the gun is laid on the target automatically and the gunner completes all the aiming and firing process. During that time, the commander looks for the next target. Such engagement method is present on all modern main battle tanks. This new main battle tank is operated by a crew of four, including commander, gunner, loader and driver. Prototypes of the Altai main battle tanks were powered by a German turbocharged diesel engine, developing 1500 horsepower, mated to a rank automatic transmission. This German engine, which is the MTU MT883, was optimized for tropical and desert conditions. However, due to political issues, Germany refuses to sell this engine to Turkey. It was claimed that the production tanks would be powered by an indigenous engine developing a whooping 1800 horsepower. However, the Turkish industry didn't have much success to develop an indigenous engine for this tank, most likely needing more time to make this happen. In 2021, a contract was signed with Dosan Infracore and s and Dynamics of South Korea to supply the DV-27K engines and the EST-15K transmissions to Turkey for the Altai. This engine and transmission were developed for the South Korean K2 Black Panther tank. Last but not least, we'll compare it to the M1 Abrams tank to see how it holds up. As you can see here, the two tanks are almost identical when it comes to abilities, the Abrams being just a little superior when it comes to maximum speed and tiny other things. Thank you so much for watching the video, give it a like and tell us in the comments below what would you like to see next, subscribe to be tuned and I'll see you next time.